Welcome to St. Paul's newest and biggest urban farm, the North End Urban Farm. We're so excited to celebrate here with you today. You picked a really good time to come because just now the tomatoes are finally ripe, the sweet corn is ripe, and we have a lot of different peppers that are ripe as well. I'm Allison Sharkey, Assistant Director of Spark. Spark is a nonprofit community development corporation that owns this three acres of land. Where we're standing is not your typical community garden. Like any other community garden, we do provide fresh, uh, local, grown produce for the neighborhood. But what's really unique about the North End Urban Farm is that neighbors from different backgrounds came together to create a business incubator here. There are 13 entrepreneurs who are learning to grow produce and um, run their businesses in a, in a financially successful way at this site. Some of the growers are brand new and others have taken this opportunity to expand their business into new markets. In a few minutes, we'll hear from Mi Yang, who is one of the growers here. And um, she is very talented and creative, and you wouldn't believe the amount of produce that she can grow in a tiny space. It's been really rewarding and a lot of fun to work with growers across five different languages um, to create this from what was a vacant piece of land six months ago. Someday this site will be built on, and um, there will be housing and possibly a school at this site. What sparks vision for this site is that there will be, um, is that this will be a state-of-the-art green development that will include gardens as a key amenity. This will be a great place to live or go to school with the Willow Reserve in the background and gardens in the backyard. The City of St. Paul and Councilmember Lee Helgen have been big supporters of this project. Mayor Chris Coleman especially has provided strong leadership to make these neighborhoods good places to uh, live and do business. He's made sustainability and green jobs a top priority. We're really happy that he can be here today. Welcome Chris Coleman. Thanks Allison. Thanks, Allison. I have to say this is the uh, this is will be the second fruit cutting ceremony that I have attended in the last couple of years. We had J and J distributing that uh, we had the big expansion for not too long ago, uh, but that was a much cooler day. As a matter of fact, it was actually cooler outside than it was inside the coolers uh, of the uh, of J and J. So it's kind of nice to be out here in the warm weather. There's one thing that the most conservative members of our uh, community can agree on with the most liberal community uh, members of our community and that is there is absolutely nothing better than a fresh homegrown tomato that you just cut open so I'm really excited about uh, about getting to that you know we celebrate a lot of different things in our community we celebrate when we build buildings or open up a new street uh, but there is no more important community building than what we're doing here giving folks an opportunity to produce fresh produce uh, as Allison said uh, talked a little bit about the business incubator giving people an experience an opportunity to learn how to uh, to take their product to market learning some of the business skills that they'll need to be successful in life using this lot even uh, even though it may be temporary uh, this may be here for a few years but we, as we see uh, our community redevelop and grow and new housing come we have to find creative ways to use some of the lots that we do have and think about how important it is for our children to have fresh produce in the neighborhood. Uh, there are so many challenges with our, uh, with our children that aren't uh, eating healthy foods. Uh, they, there's a lot of uh, problems with childhood obesity. Uh, if they're eating good foods, if they're eating fresh vegetables, if they're out there actually working to help grow those fresh vegetables, uh, it really contributes to the overall well-being of our, of our children. So I want to congratulate Spark. I want to congratulate uh, Council Member Helgen for his support of this project. Uh, always out there championing his uh, his district and I particularly want to thank the growers who have done just such a good job of transforming this block into an incredible community garden congratulations and let's eat some great tomatoes thank you thanks mayor for being here it means a lot to the community that uh, we have an opportunity to really celebrate the success of this uh, community garden urban farm uh, this site had attracted a lot of attention over the years as a great potential redevelopment site. The old greenhouse that sat over there uh, was kind of abandoned and vacant for a number of years. There was a house here where the gentleman who owned it always had a big garden and was actually something that could have been part of the inspiration for bringing gardening back. And as we thought about this site and the
the Willow Reserve, and how do we incorporate, make sure that it becomes a real sustainable model going forward, uh, it really lent itself to a lot of different opportunities. Unfortunately, the housing market and the economy aren't such that we can go forward with development here, but just letting it sit vacant and deal with uh, weeds growing up to the ground didn't feel like a very good use. So turning it into the urban farm that it is today, bringing the diversity of our community together, and celebrating this opportunity to provide fresh, wholesome food here in the neighborhood seems like a really wonderful thing. Uh, we're so glad so many people could be here uh, to meet the growers and those folks who are starting these businesses. Uh, next, we would like to have Mi Yang come up uh, with her translator to talk a little bit about this. Thank you. Um, I am very proud to be here today. I am one of the grower and in my garden I have several things that I grow here and it's uh, purely organic. Uh it was a great opportunity that I get a chance to grow uh, some fresh produce and it's locally grow. I encourage the neighbor um, to come and support uh, our business. Uh, this is the first time that we have an urban garden that I am very uh, supportive of it and I ask for the community to unite it and support this garden. ก็มาคุยอ่ะคุยลูกชั้นเราแต่ขอเอ่อขอเต้นน้องนายขอปูมีปูมอตอขอเต้จะกูเจอกูอยากให้เขาเกิดกูเกิดกูเกิดแต่
really above all, the North End Urban Farm would not be here without the Association for the Advancement of Hmong Women. Um, Thomas and me are part of the association and we'd really like to thank President Li Vang as well as Chieneng and Pali for um, really making this project happen along with Spark. They have taught hundreds of small business owners how to have a successful farm operation. A big thank you to another great organization, Urban Farming. Their coordinator, Cherry, um, helped put, she installed this whole community demonstration plot over here on this corner of the site. And every day you see volunteers like Hong out here tending these plants. Uh, the biggest thank you to all the growers who've worked here day in and day out. Me and the other 10 growers with the Association for the Advancement of Hmong Women. Nate from Pig's Eye Urban Farm and Tim from Holistic Health Farm. You're the ones who built this out of vacant land and just a seed of an idea. So, because it would take a really big ribbon to go around three acres and do a ribbon cutting, we are gonna celebrate instead by having all the growers come up and lead us in a cutting of the first tomatoes of the North End Urban Farm. Thank you.